Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. We get volatility in spades, and we'll get our heads wrapped around that in one second. Love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence, and you are going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or the other. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 248, NASDAQ off 80, S&P's down 29, gold contract down $35, traded $18.17 an ounce. You got silver off 30 cents, trading out at $23.58 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a dollar twenty nine eighty six dollars eighty nine cents a barrel. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. <clears throat> Notes and bonds. The ten year note down eighteen ticks, trading out at one twenty seven eighteen. Thirty year bond off twenty five at one fifty four fifteen. And king dollar. King dollar is up five hundred and three ticks, trading at ninety six four fifty. We have the euro out here at one twelve. The yen is at one fourteen and a half, and the British pounds at one thirty four to one U S dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Okay, volatility, man. Whoa, baby. This is volatility uh, like we haven't seen since 2008. And what are we talking about here? Well, check it out. The high of today inside the S&P meet minis, folks, is 4446. Bottom line, right now, we are uh, 130 points under that. And so let's go look at this intraday. So we take a look at this intraday first. Let's get this together. Okay, so it's 309, and it's been a straight move down. Okay, so there's the last. So the last bar that has any volume was a 20 of 2. You get this bar coming down. It's starting to get somewhat of contraction, okay? So this bar here has 88,000. The bar it's taken out has 135,000. And then we're coming into over here. Now, this is how this works. Now, this is cool, folks, okay? So if you're watching Tiger TV, what I want you to see here is this. I'm always putting a bar against the bar, whether it's going up or down. I use 10-minute bars. That's they're just consistent. That being said, I want you to see something here, okay? This market's going to need a lot more juice to get lower. And this is what you have. This is really cool now, okay? So what's going on is that Wick, when we went down on, let's see, yesterday, when we got down at, uh, that was at 9.50 in the morning, that bar there had 92,000 contracts. Well, we just went down and we had 89,000 contracts. So what that is saying, the bottom line, is that that is saying more than likely you just saw the low of the day. That's how this shakes out. It's, it can get tested again, but realistically, I mean, you know, realistically, that's how this works out. Okay. So, and what you have on top of that is that we know that the last volume bar down had a price projection of, uh, well, it went 43.50. So watch how this works. This is where this gets wild, man. So we're at 43.23. So what should happen here is that we should make a run to at least 43.50. Powell's still talking out here. Uh, bottom line is that this is going to be, uh, this is about as wild as you get. But this is, a this is a nice setup. And you can see that when you take a look at factually how you do price and volume, the bottom line did the straight line move down. Last time that we had any volume down was 43.50. You broke it, and guess what? You came into the downdraft from yesterday, and you have lighter volume. So what, what I'd like you to understand, markets are all about energy. So when you get markets that are either going up and are going down, when you go down that fast, let's, if, you're, if you're a bull, you should really like what just happened. I know that, you know, the bottom line is that the S&Ps are up like 90 points and you're saying, what are you out of your mind? Bottom line, folks, is that the more that this low 
gets tested, and I brought this up yesterday, and the faster that you come back and go after that low, what ends up happening is that that's a larger bottom. That's how it works out. Because what ends up happening is that you come down, you get big volume, people get out. You get a bounce, you come back down again, people get out. You come back down again, and we've, all, we've done that all in the course of uh, 90, well, not even 96 hours, 50, uh, well, 48 hours. Bottom line, that gets the selling over with, and then you gotta remember something. It doesn't take much to get buying going. So we just did the S&Ps. Now let's go into the NASDAQ. Because the NASDAQ, oh man, you talk about when you see the highs and lows in the NASDAQ, this is something else. So NASDAQ out here, the high today is 14,639. And so the bottom line, this is amazing actually. So we're down uh, 500 and, uh, 550 points from where we were, okay? Now, you do the same exercise on this. The bottom line is that you want to know what were you going into. Okay, so this is the bar that we we're going into right there. That bar, and that was at uh, 10 minutes to 3 yesterday. The, that bar had uh, 300, no, 31,000 contracts. The last time that we had volume on the way down was the same bar at 1440. That number there was 52,000. Get this straight. 52,000. We're still going 31. Okay. Then we came into the low. There it is, man. And okay, so you came into the low. You came into that bar, and you came into that bar with 28,000. So your correlation is 28. Last time with volume on the way down gets you all the way up to the price point of uh, 14,191. So what this is saying is that we're at 14,090. What this is saying is that this thing should climb its way back up. 191, man, that's a trip. Okay, so this is telling me that, you know, by the end of the day, man, even the NASDAQ will be positive. Might only be 10, 15 points, but that's how that's shaking out. So we will see how this baby goes. Volatility in spades, no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks, come right back.